they are quite large now. The blinking light up on the mountain has not changed its pace. There is a noise like growling, only less organic, like wind howling through a canyon, only more growly. Ladies and gentlemen, here is what we know. There is a blinking light up on the mountain. There is a mountain on the floodplain. There is a floodplain under the imminent army. There is an imminent army maybe a couple of hours march from here. I do not believe now that we are leaving anything out. If you have homes, I suggest you flee them. If you have friends, I suggest you warn them. If you have children, did you not know how dangerous and unpredictable the world was when you created a defenseless tiny human within it? And much like Madeleine Lafleur, head of Night Vale's tourism board, I will now control the one part of my life that is under my control. Let us go now, and I do hope we come back to the weather. Oh, baby, please surrender. Let's go quietly. We'll hold our questions, we'll hold our fire. You don't have to explain a thing. I know the dreams of young Americans have short wicks that make for good show. But they're not brilliant, they're just burning brilliantly, and there's a difference. did come back. Here we are, post-weather. Carlos finally took a look at the situation. The blinking light up on the mountain and all that came with it. Horrific invading army, etc. Oh, that? He said, gesturing with a spatula he had until moments before been using to cook. That's a mirage. I've seen that one before. When you get the clouds in a certain way, and the temperature is where it's at, you can sometimes get this blinking light mountain floodplain masked army mirage. Wow, this is a pretty strong one. It should disappear in an hour or two. And it did. Completely gone. Well, the mountain and the blinking light and the floodplain disappeared. The massed army turned out to be real. But they weren't coming to attack us, just passing through on their way to attacking someone else. And they provided some valuable traffic for local business. A few of them even took a bus tour of Radon Canyon. 
Madeline LaFleur was both relieved and pleased. I'm relieved, she said. I'm also pleased. She was still sipping her coffee too often. Perhaps her feeling of lack of control stems from a personal issue rather than the impending doom we imagined. Stress from her failure to live up to her own self-imposed life goals, for instance. Or a relationship that wasn't exactly the relationship she had envisioned it would be. But who knows? No one. No one has ever known anything. Not really. Still, nonetheless, we have come to another end. We have come to it as we always do. Blind, ignorant, groping. I take comfort in that consistency. There is no blinking light up on the mountain. There is no mountain towering over a muddy plain. There is no muddy plain under an invading army. There was an invading army, but they're gone now. What is left? Well, what is always left? Night Vale. Our little city. Our tiny town. Our Night Vale. Proud. Safe. Existent. Stay tuned next for the background hum of the universe, amplified and with live color commentary. Good night, Night Vale. Good night. Welcome to Night Vale is a production of Commonplace Books. It is written by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner and produced by Joseph Fink. The voice of Night Vale is Cecil Baldwin. The voice of the faceless old woman was Mara Wilson. Original music by Disparition. All of it can be found at disparition.info or at disparition.bandcamp.com. This episode's weather was Never Be Famous by Hustlonia. Find out more at hustlonia.com. Comments, questions, email us at nightvale at commonplacebooks.com or follow us on Twitter at Night vale Radio. Check out commonplacebooks.com for more information on this show as well as all sorts of cool Night vale stuff you can own. And while you're there, consider clicking the donate link. That would be cool of you. Today's proverb, throw your hands in the air. Now your arms. Keep detaching limbs and throwing them in the air. Hopefully the birds will be sated and leave. <laughs>